Since the month of September 2012, I have the Holy Spirit forever present upon me, like never before. Even now, I feel such closeness with Jesus, and it is totally delightful and intimidating at the same time. I see myself on a journey with my Lord. He took me in every hot spot all over the world. I know of things before they happen. Remember when I reported of the fall of a very prominent preacher on the video 2013 scandal in many churches. Surely I was talking about Pope Benedict. I talk about the signs of judgment in the 2013 Angel of Disaster video. We heard of accidental deaths and the meteor that landed in Russia. I spoke to you about the blizzards in America very soon. Very soon, you will hear of tor torrential rains, floods, tornadoes, hurricanes, storms, earthquakes, and heat waves in diverse places of the earth. This Sabbath, under the commission of the Lord, I must break away from the series of teachings about the offerings to present unto you a sure word of prophecy. The Spirit of the Lord came to me saying, Now the time has arrived for Lord Jesus, house of prayer, to arise and shine. For the light of God has come, and his glory has risen upon it. Darkness has covered the earth, and thick darkness is over the peoples. I, the Lord, I am righteous in all my ways, and loving toward all I have made. I am near to all who call on me truthfully. No. Therefore, that I am Jesus Christ. I am the faithful God, keeping my covenant of love to a thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commands. Today I say, the blessing of Abraham is yours to obtain. I fulfill the desires of those who fear me. I hear their cry and save them. I watch over all who love me, but all the wicked I will destroy. The sword is appointed to be polished, to be grasped with the hand. It is sharpened smooth and shiny, made for the hand of the slayer, my angel of disaster. Cry out and well, son of man, for it is against my people. It is against the Christians, the Christian leaders. A sword against you, false prophet, false preachers, and false priests, for you will become fools. A sword against your treasuries, for they will be plundered. This is what the Lord, the God of Israel says about your houses, your churches. They shall be filled with dead bodies. You have professed your sins, instead of your 
devotion. I will slay you in my anger, in my wrath, in the pauper as in the pew. I will hide my face from you because of your wickedness. You greatly love to wonder and you do not learn to restrain your feet. Now we hear preachers talking about their drunkenness and their perversion. I will now remember your wickedness and punish you for your transgressions. For from the four corners of the earth, men will fear my name and they will revere my glory. You are far away. Hear what I have done. You are near. Acknowledge my power. The sinners in Zion are terrified. Trembling grips the godless. Tell me, why are you refusing to repent? Who of you can dwell with the consuming fire? Who of you, false priests, false preachers, can dwell with Satan and his demons in this everlasting burning? Why don't you boast in your courage to endure such punishment? You teach my, my, my children fairy tales. You te your teaching and conduct have caused them to wander from the path. I spent three days and three nights in the belly of the earth. Yet you teach my children that I die on Friday and resurrected on Sunday. You have changed my Sabbath for the day of your son God. The kingdom of the Lord is faith. Yet faith is nowhere to be found. The time has come for my children to know that it is not about what they want for themselves, but about what I, the Lord, want for them all along. When I was on earth, I lived in the glory and for the glory of my Father. Learn of me and you shall live. Now I am seated on my throne at the right hand of God. It is my joy and even this very day to bring glory to my God. I am doing a work through my apostle. In him I am certainly well pleased. He has found his delight in me as in the Father and in the Holy Spirit who testifies of us. I am in the Father and the Father is in me. In one spirit we are united. A man with the Holy Spirit is equal unto me. A man full of the Spirit will act upon the earth like me. I have summoned my servant to enlarge the stakes of Lord Jesus house of prayer. He is currently negotiating the purchase of a lane big enough for a grand project in a major highway to bring visibility to my movement. Nations will indeed come to your light and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Lift up your eyes and look about you, all assemble and come to you, 
Your sons come from afar, and your daughters are carried on the young. Then you will look radiant, your heart will throb and swell with joy. The wealth in the seas will be brought to you. To you the riches of the nations will come. They will be accepted as offerings on my altar, and I will adorn my glorious temple. Lord Jesus, house of prayer, shall be an everlasting pride and the joy of the generations to come. Instead of wounds, I will bring you gold and silver in place of iron. Instead of wood, I will bring you bones and iron in place of stones. I will make peace your governor and righteousness your ruler. Therefore today I say, where is your faith, my son? Where is your faith, my daughter? I challenge you to give a minimum of $1,000 or more. Your pledge of that shall be received at any level you may choose. One million, one hundred thousand, ten thousand, one and one thousand dollars. I require your blinding faith in this as you purpose to give by saying yes that you will send it, you would send it. So I will provide it for you and bless you in return. You have a lot to learn from little children. The child obeys and trusts his parents to provide for his food, care and shelter. A complaining Christian is worse than an infidel. Why should the grass of the field have more faith than you? The birds and the animals have more faith than my children. Show me your faith and I will flow my signs, my wonders, my miracles into your life. My love is great, higher than the heavens. My faithfulness reaches to the skies. You shall cast your bread upon the water. You shall give toward the building upon, of, of the building up of my kingdom. Test me indeed. Test me in this and see if I will not give you more and even fulfill all your pleasant dreams. Give and I will bless you. I will multiply you a thousand times and abundantly prosper you. I will work for you and help you. I will give you strength and have charge over you. My angel of relief shall bring you my provision in season. You shall praise my name. I, the Lord, will be the everlasting light of my people. They will be righteous and possess the gates of their enemies. They are the shoot I have planted, the work of my hands for the display of my splendor. The least of you will become a thousand, the smallest a mighty nation. I am the Lord. I will do this swiftly. What I have said will come to pass. Amen and Amen. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the world, to heal the sick, to pray for the afflicted, and reveal unto them the purpose of God for their lives. Surely, 
the sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing his plan to his servants, the prophets. The Lord wants me to give you an opportunity to be a part of his movement through Lord Jesus' house of prayer. According to Malachi 3, verse 8 to 12, you can do so by sending your tithes and offering online or to the address listed on our website. All tithes and offering are prayed over, and whatever words the Spirit will bring forth, these I will report. And the Lord promised to bless you and to open for you the floodgates of heaven. Remember, we are here for you to help you turn your house into a house of prayer. Amen and amen.